All right, and to get things started, I'll go ahead and list the paints that I'm gonna be using for this uh, painting video. I'll be using a matte black and a matte white. Cool, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching the video. We'll go into a little bit more than just with th than that. It's not actually using just straight matte black and matte white. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and actually get into the actual painting part. Today, I'm painting Venom from Marvel Crisis Protocol. And this is a really cool model. Venom is one of my favorite characters in the entire Mar Marvel series, right behind Carnage. So to start things off, I'm going to, like most of my models, I'm gonna use a Zenithal Highlight, which I'll be using the Vallejo Surface Primer, black and gray. So for those that don't know about the Zenithal Highlights, how you do it is I take an airbrush. You can use a spray can if you want. If you have that, if you don't have an airbrush, that should work just fine too. I prime the entire model in the Vallejo Surface Primer, black, using the airbrush, and then aiming my airbrush where the light source will be coming from. I will spray and prime the model, not completely in the Vallejo gray, but mm, covering a large portion of it. But again, only aiming from the direction of where that light source would naturally be hitting it. And this creates some pre-shading, this creates some extra little shadows and highlights. Now, you're probably asking, Jake, why? do this for a model that is mostly black. Why I wanted to use the Zenithal Highlight for this as well is because it makes those shadows just a little extra darker and it makes those highlights just a little bit softer. But we're gonna be kind of layering up some highlights. This is gonna be my first time doing layering highlights. Um, so that's gonna be fun to see how that kind of works out. You don't necessarily have to do that. This is just the way I did it. Now, moving on to the base coating step. For the base coating, I took Army Painter's Dark Stone, Dark Sky, and a very, very, very tiny bit of matte black just to tone it down just a little bit extra. I'll add a couple more layers of that until there is a smooth, even coating across the entire model. Now, next for the spider emblem, I will be using Army Painter's Gorgon Hide. And I use Gorgon Hide. It's a slightly off-white with a little bit of a blue tone in it. And I'm gonna be kind of using a little bit of blue tones in, my, in the black areas as well, so it's gonna be a good match. Now, don't be afraid to be a little messy here because it's gonna be okay if you get a little bit of the white on the black areas, and it's okay if in the earlier step you got some of the black over on the white areas. It's okay, just keep your mixture on hand that you did the base coating with and keep your extra Gorgon Hide on hand as well and just keep working at it until you have a nice, smooth, even coating on the spider emblem. For painting the tongue, I'll use Army Painter's Vampire Red. And then, making a glaze, I'll use Army Painter's Scar Tissue and add in a few layers of that. And to base coat the teeth, I used Elven Flesh. Yes, Flesh for the teeth. Yes, it'll make it'll make sense in a minute. Just yeah, just it'll make sense. He's gotta have nasty teeth. His teeth aren't pristine. He's gotta have a little bit of gunky teeth. It's gonna make sense. His teeth aren't gonna stay yellow. It's okay. Don't worry. If you can, if you want, yeah, if you want Venom to have yellow teeth, you can have yellow teeth. It's your Venom. Do whatever you want to with your Venom. You can have a green Venom if you want to. It's your Venom. Make him whatever you want to. He can be blue. He can be pink. Ooh, he can be a pink Venom. Someone paint a pink Venom. That'd be really cool. 
I don't wanna, I wanna see that. I wanna see a pink Venom. Yeah. Ooh, pink Venom, black spider emblem. I dig it. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the highlighting step. Now, taking the base tone that we mixed up for Venom, the dark stone, dark sky, and a tiny bit of matte black, we're gonna take that mixture and we're gonna add increasing amounts of Gorgon hide to it to create a blending layer. Now, for that first layer, we're only going to add a very, very, very tiny, tiny bit of Gorgon hide, and the tone isn't gonna change that much, but there will be a little bit of a noticeable tone, and I'm going to very liberally paint this layer over a large amount of the model, only leaving the absolute most recessed areas, and I'll continue to add an increasing amount of Gorgon hide to the mixture whilst painting smaller, more contained areas of these highlights to represent the sharpest area of where the light is hitting it the most. Now, for the brightest, brightest highlight, on the most raised areas where the light is gonna be hitting it the harshest, I use a two to one ratio of deep blue and Gorgon hide, and then very carefully stipple on some of these extra extreme bits of light. For the spider emblem, I highlight the spider emblem with a matte white. Now I'm gonna do some detailing. So on the Marvel Crisis Protocol Mini, on the Venom Mini, there is modeled on it some raised areas which represent sort of some veins bulging out. Um, I'll go over and paint over those veins with a Gorgon hide to kind of have a similar sort of look to the, um, to the 2018 Venom movie where he had kind of like the white veins that were kind of showing through. And I'm also gonna kind of go in and add a couple of my own extra veins where there's not necessarily a modeled uh, portion of it to represent where the veins are, just because I wanted to add just a little bit of extra. Now, going back to the teeth, I'm going to now highlight those teeth with a matte white, leaving a little bit of that yellow still showing through towards the gums, because he don't brush, he's nasty. Now I'm gonna work on the basing. So for the base, the main pavement area that he's standing on, I'll paint with a dungeon gray. And the sidewalk section, that's the little bit more of the raised section, I'm going to paint with an ash gray. The rock that he's standing on, I'm gonna paint with a dark stone. Then I'll add a little bit of a shade using known oil. Then I'll go back in and dry brush using a little bit of ash gray. And then using some PVA glue, thin down with quite a bit of water, I'll paint on a little bit of that just to add a little bit of extra scatter to the base. And now I'm gonna call it done with Venom. And this has been a really fun model to paint. This is my first time kind of using layer highlights and it was a huge learning experience for me. I still need a lot of practice and I'm gonna continue practicing on other models that are kind of similar to Venom so that I can get a little bit better at it. But you know, that's just the fun part about this is just to practice, 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 practice. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked this video, I've got others. Um, and I also will be posting videos every other week on similar content like this, different models. Sometimes I do Star Wars Legion, sometimes I do Marvel Crisis Protocol, and sometimes I might do other things. If you're interested in getting a little bit of a preview on what I'm gonna be painting next on the channel, you can always stop by my Twitch, Wandering XP, where I paint pretty much 
everything that I make a video on on there live so you can get a little bit more of a, a real-time view of what I'm working on. I, I, I talk through my process and just generally just chat and have a nice chill time with everyone there. So I hope to see you there. Thank you so much. Bye.